Right. For this exercise, we're trying to show that uh, sine 60 plus theta times sine 60 minus theta is equal to 3 over 4 minus sine squared theta. Well, you may come up with something different. And here we go. Right, here we go. Firstly, we, we expand the uh, sine 60 plus theta, and that's sine 60 cos theta plus cos 60 sine theta. And from our triangle, we know that um, sine 60 is root 3 over 2, and cos 60 is a half, 1 over 2. So our expression then becomes uh, root 3 over 2 cos theta, plus a half sine theta. So, uh, similarly, if we now expand uh, sine 60 minus theta, we have sine 60 cos theta minus cos 60 sine theta, which then becomes uh, root 3 over 2 cos theta minus a half sine theta. And when you combine both, you have something similar to the difference of two squares. So, that now becomes root 3 over 2 cos theta squared minus a half sine theta squared, similar to a plus b into a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So, and when you, when you square a half, you get a quarter, and when you square um, 3, you, sorry, when you square root 3, you get 3. So, we end up with um, a quarter 3 cos square theta minus sine square theta. And we know that cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta. And when you open up your inside brackets, we have that um, a quarter into 3 minus 3 sine square theta minus sine square theta. Now, minus sine square, sorry, minus 3 sine square theta minus sine square theta will give you minus 4 sine square theta. Opening up the brackets again, we now have 3 over 4 minus 4 over 4, which is in fact 3 over 4 minus sine square theta. And I hope all that makes sense. Uh, please, please subscribe and hopefully we hear from you again soon. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.